Breaking news, the 2023 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. This year, it'll be shared equally among three scientists for the discovery of quantum dots. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2023 Nobel Prize in Chemistry in equal shares to Mondje Bavendi, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, USA, Louise Bruce, Columbia University, USA, and Alexei Yekimov, Nanocrystals Technology Incorporated, USA, for the discovery and synthesis of quantum dots. So that was just a few minutes ago. The General Secretary of the Royal Swedish Academy of Scientists announcing Alexei Ekimov, Louise Bruce, and Mungi Bavendi are sharing the 2023 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Quantum dots, if you've never heard of them, they are tiny artificial atoms that are used now in everything from televisions to medicine, detecting tumors, photoconductors, all sorts of applications, as we're going to learn from Abby Kugathasen, who's in London with more on the scientists and their accomplishments. Abby, good morning. Good morning, Heather. You know, just like yesterday, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences have now recognized three scientists. This time, they're all based in the United States. This prize today in chemistry, as you mentioned, they are Mungi Bavendi, Louis Bruce, and Alexei Ekimov. Now, the Secretary General, Hans Algren, who made that announcement, was later asked by a journalist about honoring a Russian laureate today, given Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Here's what he had to say. We simply follow the procedure of identifying the most important discoveries. Uh, having done that, we identify the most important contributors to that finding, to that, those findings, without paying any respect to nationality or any other uh, factors uh, for, that, for that meaning. Uh, and that means uh, that uh, nationality doesn't matter here, and that's also exactly in accordance with the will of Alfred Nobel. Now, all three are being honored for their work that is connected to quantum dots. Quantum dots are nanocrystals, so minuscule, they're about one ten thousandth the size of a human hair. They're made up about 10 to 50 atoms, but behave as an individual atom. And they're human-made nanoparticles made from semiconductor, semiconductor materials, rather, like silicone. Now, Ekimov and Bruce were the first to observe that the size of the quantum dot changes its properties. And the third laureate, Bavendi, is credited with inventing a a chemical method which produces nanoparticles to a specific size and quality. Now, there was a press release that was sent out by mistake to a Swedish broadcaster before this official announcement, but Vivendi, who spoke after the announcement, said he was fast asleep and only found out when he got the call from the committee. Let's have a listen. Very surprised, uh, sleepy, shocked, unexpected, and very honored. Now, quantum dots can help detect tumors. Earlier, they can help create thinner solar panels, uh, cells, uh, solar cells, and tiny sensors. Now, these three laureates will be presented with their awards in December, Heather, at a ceremony in Stockholm. Thank you very much, Abby.